Alrighty. Where's the... Am I going crazy or did the black bars used to be there too before? Or is that new? Because I don't understand why they are... Why there are black bars. Um... Uh... Can someone tell me if... They were there? Okay, good. Because it's confusing, because the game runs in 1080p, which means it should be full screen on the stream. At least I'm very sure it runs in 1080p. Um... Hold on. Ah, oh, shit. I just barely muted myself for a sneeze. Amazing. No, uh, that's the wrong thing. That's some good options. Look at this. Very good options for graphics. No, seriously, what the fuck? They were there. Okay. Alright. Well, that's kind of weird. Anyway, uh, we're back here. Uh, last time... We did a bunch of stuff running around the countryside getting orbs from these guys here. From a bunch of barkers. So this time we are gonna go back probably and tell the Shrine Maiden that we got her balls. Gotta buy the balls, if you know what I mean. Alright. Let's head on back there. <laughs> Regarding the Christmas video, by the way, while I was making that, my favorite part was trying to find, like, trying to browse Google images for the most disgusting Santa images. <laughs> we're in a, uh, we're in a, a huge amount, but... It was still fun. <clears throat> ah, shit. Okay. How do I play this game? Help. I don't know how to do things. Why isn't it fucking doing that shit? It wasn't doing the power slash for some reason. to the camera there. Okay. Anyway, I'm getting back into the game. It's been a while. Camera is good today. Very good. Okay, anyway. Um, let me take a shortcut. Uh, <clears throat> Ginger, you have all the time in the world to get near and play it. Buy it another time. Save your money, wait until you have a stable income, dude, and don't starve to death. You know? You should generally stop playing, fucking buying video games until, you know, that happens. I wonder what this game would have looked like with a uh, dynamic day-night cycle. You know, rather than it just changing abruptly.
Video games are not very important, actually. And I'm sure you have enough in your Steam library to keep you going for probably years if you actually, you know, just played them instead of just buying more games all the time. You know? You know. Sell a whopper. We're, we're not fucking Burger King. Anyway. Um... So, now that we have all these, the Dragon Balls, um, instead of making a wish, we can open a door, which leads us to the next dungeon. Dungeon times are fun times. Yo, lady. Here's the Dragon Balls. Enough of the buck thing already. I'll speak to you about the three remaining Dragon Balls. Sense of something different about them. Bring no word of their condition or whereabouts. Dots. Well, about that. Did find the other three, but. Found them? Well, yeah. It's kind of a long story. Uh, they gave us the Satomi power ropes. <clears throat> okay. Oh, that sense that the canine warriors have changed. Maybe they had a faithful encounter. Perhaps strong bonds that cannot be broken. They are to live apart from the Satomi house. I have but one wish. I wish them to protect the peace under their new monster. Okay. Well, anyway. All the Satomi, po Satomi power orbs have been returned. I can break the barrier. Yay! Nah, bitch. You won't be doing anything. I'll be doing it. Whoa, check it out. Power orbs are spinning. Spin! How could this be? Power orbs accepted you? What are you talking about, lady? One does not choose to take the orbs. One does not choose to take the balls. The balls choose you. Oh, magnificent power balls. Heirloom of the Satomi House. And these whom you have chosen to cite the Satomi House's fate. Okay, bye. Anyway. I don't really know why they made this happen. Like, why did the orbs go over to you? Maybe they were too lazy to program or just to just, like, walk over there. Or something. Oh, wait, right. There is a reason later in the boss fight. Because for some reason they thought that even though this game is already super easy, you need Bappy mode for, for this boss that's coming up. Bappy mode. So, that's why they're here, the orbs, rather than sticking with the lady. Zuzano style, sleeping monk hidden socket! What the? Well, looky here, it's Zuzano again. Spirit who defies my sword, I'm closer than ever. You're at the Gale Shrine where the beast makes its lair. Your true form shall be revealed. This cursed barrier may bar my way, but if I pray long and hard, I shall eventually find a way in. Lazy bum's talking in his sleep. Sleep. If I could fucking talk myself. Hey, what's with this guy? Let's see right through him. Huh? Who are you? How's it you can see me? I'm Yatsu, the earthbound spirit who haunts this area. Long has it been since any have ventured this way. Yo, what's up, dude? My eyes have failed me. I can no longer see. In their stead, my inner eye can judge a person's true form. You appear to be a maiden most fair. What could possibly bring you to the Gale Shrine? You must leave this place, for it is no longer a shrine of the gods. 
is now cursed and under the control of a horrible creature. There's no place for a fair maiden such as you. Fair maiden? Talking about you, Furball. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. Ha ha ha. What's this? It appears the maiden is accompanied by a little booger. <laughs> it's the village to me that's in at last. Little booger, he better not be talking about me. Hardly anyone has visited the gay shrine since it has been cursed. Strangely, Frenzy Man over there is one of the few. He's been meditating alone at the shrine's entrance. This sleep is filled with nightmares that make him cry out. I pity the poor man who will, and would like to wonder and would like to render what service I could, but when I try to peer into his dreams, an evil force bars my way. Who is this strange man? Come to think of it, Susanna said something about being possessed. And he's been acting all weird, like the time he helped Kushi. What's this? Since an intense power envelops your body, could it be the Satomi power orbs? Fair maiden, the orbs would only choose the one who is our savior. The eight colors of light are living proof of that. Very well, you may pass as savior of the Satomi house. <clears throat> Beware, fair maiden. Crimson Home is a terrible foe. It is said that when the eight headed serpent was slain 100 years ago, Crimson Helm emerged from a pool of the beast's blood. Never let your guard down. Did you see Suna Susano's strut? That is. A strut of a man who knows his way. Wait, wait, wait! The door to the Gale Shrine has opened. I must have finally communed with the gods. Time has come, foul spirit. I shall reveal your true form. No pops, wait! It's not life dear to that man. Beware, fair maiden. Crimson Helm is a terrible foe. It is said that when the eight-headed serpent was slain 100 years ago, Crimson Helm emerged from a pool of blood. Can we get it already? Stop trying to freak us out. Anyway, so... I mean... Amaterasu... is usually not depicted as a doggy. But as a woman... Actually, why is it that most sun gods are depicted as female? I'm guessing because the sun is, like, associated with giving life, and, like, so are women, I guess. That might be a reason. That might be a raisin. Uh -uh. Really wish that pop up wasn't a thing that it did. Demon Gate. Oh my god. The cooking pot. Cooking pot turtle. Thing. Something. was definitely not the right way to do this. Maybe Blossom? No. Okay, never mind. Oh, it still gave me a good time bonus, okay. There are instances when the sun is masculine? Okay. Is that, in, in which language is that? Because all the ones uh, that I know about, it's usually female. For not, you know, even in 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 languages where there is no concept of gender for 
nouns, um, the depiction of the sun as a sort of deity or uh, spirit or whatever is usually female. No, oh, cutting its belly is a good idea, yeah. I'll try that next time. If I can remember. Okay. Is it Apollo the Sun God? Or, I'm um, fucking, I can't remember my Greek mythology at all. Elevator powered by bombs. That's great. Now oh, here we go again. Nope, doesn't. I wonder what I need to do now. I can't bloom it, right? No. Fucking the bomb placement is so annoying. No, that doesn't do anything either. Oh wait, it does quite a bit of damage. Not enough in this instance, but... Okay, that didn't do it. Hmm. Not sure. Yeah, Helios was was the sun god. Did they, like, fucking trade posts or some shit at some point? Because, uh, you know, they... Fucking Greek gods or some bullshit. They just change jobs at some point. Man, the first time I got here, I was really taken aback by the atmosphere. I was quite spooked, actually. Just the way things are tinted and the very slight background noise. Barret. Makes, a uh... Sets the mood really well. Especially since, you know, you sort of do this under entire quest line and like starting out with the entire area being cursed and everything, so this whole section of the game is, is pretty spoopy. It's very not spoopy in the speedrun because you just fucking fly over here pretty much. Now that's one big windmill. I saw it from down in the village, but I had no idea it was this big. Hey, what's that? It's rolling around in front of the big windmill. It almost looks like wind, but it's black and foreboding. As if the wind were being forced in the opposite direction. The fuck does that mean? I wonder if that swirling evil air is what stopped the windmill. Maybe that's why the divine wind stopped playing. So it must be the work of that crimson helm. Wonder how we could get rid of that evil air. Man, who knows? See? I knew that would bring the divine wind back. Fuck you. All done. 
Uh, that now that the divine wind's back, I bet the big windmill will. windmill even powering? Is it like crushing seeds or, or like what? It's starting to spin! Look how strong the divine wind is blowing. Sure hope this drives away the evil down in Kuso village. Ah, what? Oh my god. Good vibrations. Amy's fucking Sonic the Hedgehog or something. Origin of all that is good and mother to us all for too long. I, Kazagami, god of wind, have walked shadowed, walked a shadowed path. At last, light shines upon me. Use my power to manipulate the wind. Banish those who would seek to shroud this world in darkness. I don't know why, but the one thing that sticks with me the most about Pun Pun is the fucking weird ass hobo dude who just kept saying good vibrations. But it was the divine wind that brought the wind god back. Now you can use Kazagami's Gale Storm. Just draw the mark, try it out. Draw the mark, do it. Okay. Wind. And the door opened when the small windmill started spinning. This wind is nothing to sneeze at. Try to brush the cheek of a variety of things, but there's no time for us to rest. The big windmills filling the cramps and elms landed in this place. Thank you. Hey, get over there. Huh. Wait a sec. These treasure chests. Bet you could put the fire out without using water now. How are these staying on fire, like, forever anyway? Is that like an infinite fuel source? game. Thanks, invisible wall.
fuck did I just hear? Did, did I hear birds? Hmm. I'm not gonna open all these chests. Fuck that. Whoa! Check out those massive hanging scrolls! Looks like they're enjoying that wind you brought back. Be careful, blow us away if it gets much stronger. Now for the most fickle jumping section in the game. Because you don't know where the fuck you are because the shadows don't really work well. It's good stuff. There we go. Did it. I beat the game. Ah, oh, fuck. See that army? Some kind of crystal. Looks like a barrier or something. I bet it's a certain crystal for dispelling Orochi's barrier. You know, the item that Waka guy was searching for. Sweet dude. Found it before you did. Get it. <clears throat> I'm a gird. I'm a gird. It's a Pokemon. Hey, must be Crimson Elm. Eh, eh. Every day does look like one mean dude. Better psych up yourself for this one, dude. You ready, dude? Yeah, here comes the Bobby mode. What the hell? Are these the Satomi power orbs? Are they gonna protect us or something? Yeah, they are. There's a very quick kill that he can do, but I don't know how it goes, so... Shit. Hey, 
Huh? Is he chickening out? After him, mammy, quick! Back, you cur! I'll handle this one. Charge! What the hell is he doing? Gonna get sliced and... Slice and dice! Time for some brushwork, Ami. And to chop it off. Now for some wind! Yes, this is how it works. More wind! I like that Crimson Helm is just sitting there watching this. Thinking like... Okay, I wonder what he's doing. I'm gonna let this happen. Behold the secret technique, Wind of Wrath! Cool dance, dude. No, I'm positive. This is not my doing. It's the gods. They toy with me. Will you never stop mocking me? You hear me up there? Are you happy now? Why must I bear this burden of being Nagi's descendant? All I wish is to live in peace. You enjoy dogging my every step? You okay, Pops? Boss, you gods. I don't want your power. This whole world can fall to ruin as far as I'm concerned. Enough of the legends and Nagi just send them sh bullshit. Now just leave me be. What the hell is that? Yikes! G g go away! Huh? That voice! One after the other. You're driving me crazy! Stop it! I don't- I don't want to hear about that now! Go away! Leave me alone! Who is that, Ami? Oh my god... Sick... Bonjour! Oh, I'm interrupting something. Oh, brother. It's that half-baked prophet again. Hey, that's... that's... What? This? It's a serpent crystal, and it's mine at last. Got a lot of nerve muscling in on our goods like that. We found him first! It won't do you any good. I mean, I'm the only one who can dispel the barrier with it. You know the barrier at the Moon Cave, Orochi's stronghold? Mm, you calling me, big boy? <laughs> Keep your scales on, I'm coming. Hey, what's going on? Why are you going over to Orochi's place? <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Time for another prophecy. 
I foresee a rendezvous with a sweet little thing. Anyway, I must be off. Okay, whoa, baby. Now you wait a second. Spell the barrier at the moon cave? What the hell is he up to? This is no time for you victory, Hal Furball. We gotta get out of here and get with our mission, quick. Hey. Sure, why not? I, my favorite wolf and little bog, have safely returned. When the windmill at the shrine began spinning, I knew it was you. A most refreshing wind began to blow down into our village. You have defeated the Crimson Helm and restored the divine wind. Canine warriors rejoice, but they're a handful as usual. I know how to thank you for all you have done. I too would like to give thanks to these heroic travelers and Princess Huse, lost of the Satomi house, you have done well. What? You know this lady? Indeed I do, for I was her husband and head priest of the shrine. My lingering fears about Kusa village kept my spirit here. Thanks to you, I can now travel to the great beyond. Princess Huse and the canine warriors still have much to learn, but I have no doubt they will prosper. I shall watch over them. Farewell, shall pray for your good health and prosperity. Later, dude. What is it, you two? What are you looking at? Huh? Oh, nothing. Anyway, Princess, there is no need to thank us. Just keep pro uh, protecting the village as head priestess for over the shrine. I know you'll have your hands full with those pesky canines. Been rather feeble since the lost head priest perished. But as head priestess, I shall now dedicate my life to the shrine while keeping the remaining five canine warriors in line. That's the spirit. Okay, bye. Yes. For you girls. Oh boy, that was awful impression. I'm never going to do that again. Anyway, <clears throat> voice cracked even. Oof. Rough. Let's think about our next step before we scurry off. Was that shadowy creature with those heads for you, that monster? Our future's pretty bleak unless we do something about it. I mean, I'm too young to die. I'd like a chance to use all these brush techniques, too. Not. Didn't even so much as growl at that shadowy creature. You slayed that monster long ago, right? But your partner Nagi was the stronger of you two. Or maybe that legendary sake really packed a punch? Not. Yeah, it must have been the sake. I mean, the legendary sake is back in that village, isn't it? And isn't it about time for that village's annual festival? Let's go see if we can get a taste of that special brew. This might do us some good. Besides, a good festival is always fun. If I could get Sakuya a little tipsy, then maybe. <laughs> I Amy, mean, I certainly feel like a new man. Let's go. What a lewd little bug. Anyway, this game has less so than other RPGs like it, but it still has in some ways the same problem that I have, which is that characters, as soon as they have their quest line completed, they don't talk to you anymore. Like, um, like, it's almost as if they stop existing in any capacity in the world. They just stop being a thing. And that's a real shame. And I kind of wish that more games experimented with having an RPG kind of format, but um, 
keeping the cost of characters that have any influence on the plot but aren't protagonists slim but yet recurring so that they keep coming back and stay relevant so that you can keep doing something with them because i feel like there is a lot of untouched potential in that kind of more in-depth more character focused kind of storytelling in an rpg setting uh, it's wonderful to feel a nice breeze blowing again, and I can't tell you how happy I was to see the windmill start up. Princess Huse is amazing, ousting, amazing, ousting that crimson helm brute like that. Now Kusa Village can sleep easy again at last. Motherfucker, I did that. Wonder if I'll be able to spot that floating island in the sky. My grandpa said there's a land up there called the Celestial Plain. It's where all the great gods are supposed to live. I don't know, though. It's all a bit far-fetched, if you ask me. Yeah, so the Celestial pr Plain thingy. Um, here's a fun, embarrassing tidbit from my youth. Um, when I was like... 16, 17 or so, like, my dream project was to make a sequel to this game. And basically the story idea was that it would continue on that celestial plane and maybe, like, the plane was cursed or something. And somehow all the gods had been driven away from it and he would have to go around and, like, gather them back or some shit. Naturally not based on anything at all that actually existed in mythology, but whatever. I guard this place so that all shall pass. Mm, well, no, wait, none shall pass. What are you talking about? I'm the one and only blockhead. And those who claim otherwise aren't for it. Are you trying to break through my airtight defense? Impossible. Nothing can harm this body of mine. Anyway, I thank you, thanks. Memo puzzle. Uh huh. Oh, about here, about here, about here, and then about here. God damn it. Okay, that's an easy one. Huh? Or my weak point so obvious? Feel, but let it be known I died a warrior's death. <clears throat> anyway, obviously that game idea never went anywhere at all, so yeah. Um, Ami, can you please dig? Ami, dig. She ain't digging. Why you no dig? Is this like rock? I need the fucking special upgrade for this shit. There's like upgrades to let you gather more things. But eh. Fuck that shit. Good. Damn it. Well, the celestial plane is like not part of the real world, so there wouldn't be humans on it, but just ghosts and stuff. There were also supposed to be different mechanics because um, I really hate the thing where in sequels they just make you lose all the powers that you had in the in in the first title. Can't believe there's so many flowers. They look prettier than ever. Happy, happy, happy. Cool 
sword. Or shield, rather. Uh, Alright. Let's buy some more mermaid coins. Sure, why not? No. No. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it on stream, but in this HD, like, I don't think you can see it on the stream, but, like, you can see individual polygons, like, how they're stitched together. There's, like, very slight lines being drawn. That's very strange. I don't know why that will be, aside from maybe in... Imperfection in how the stylized outlines are drawn, where they sort of very slightly appear on the front as well. But I don't know. That's an that's been it's been bothering me. Ah, uh, let's take the mermaid spring. Or no, let's actually walk back. Fuck it. to be night. Was that fucking was that up here the shortcut back yes I remember correctly very good so today um, I had a an exercise lesson in the morning so I went for that and I was really boring and then <clears throat> Let me continue up first. Uh, then, after that, I, um, so this semester I'm doing a seminar, and a seminar means that you have to read a paper, and you have to write a short summary of the paper and sort of hold a presentation about it. Basically present the essential pieces of information about the seminar, uh, the paper to your peers, and today I also got an email saying which of the papers that I sort of selected I've been chosen for, and it happens to be that my paper is due on Monday, uh, not, you know, not next Monday, but Monday after that. So I don't have very much time for it, but uh, on the other hand, that means I'll soon be um, I'll soon be done with that, and then I don't really have to worry that much anymore. Doesn't the Kamiki Festival fall on a full moon this time of year? Oh no, they're gonna finish off the sake if we don't hurry. Come on, Emmy, get the lead out. I don't know. If soon, maybe talking about sake isn't the best thing with this music going on. 
I'll continue my talk about the seminar afterwards. Hey, what's everyone doing in front of Susanna's place? You come out there this instant, Susanna! You have some explaining to do. Now could you have drunk this sacred sake meant for Ko Konohana? Huh? Susanna did what? You can come out, Susanna. We're not mad at you. You must have had some reason to drink up the a purification sake. Uh-oh. This is bad. Why would you drink all the a purification sake, Pops? I don't care if it's so special. I couldn't help myself. I had to have a drink. It wasn't any old sake, and this isn't any old festival. It's been exactly 100 years since Nagi and Chirinui's great victory. We've even been blessed by a glorious full moon. Disclaimer, full moons attract monsters. Anyway, how could you have done such a despicable thing? Leave me alone. I care about Nagi and his flea back friend. I'm Susanna, the greatest warrior who ever lived. There's a drop of yay purification sake left. Susanna was acting a little like a madman when he returned to the village. He drank all the sacred sake and then holed up in his house. All the sacred sake Kushi brewed is gone. Holy shit. He must have pissed. Like mad. Time to take a piss. Anyway, we'd have to go and do that? Uh, why'd he have to go and do that? It's terrible. I mean, a purification sake is what saved the day in that legend. The timing couldn't be worse. The return of Orochi and all. Threaded Orochi. It's all my fault. Oh, I'm to blame for all your misfortunes. That's right, you fool. Don't you realize what a fix we're in now without any sacred sake? It was I who committed that unspeakable act at the Moon Cave. It was I who brought Orochi back to life. I brought utter destruction upon the world. <laughs> Uh. Huh? What's that fool talking about? I'm sick of hearing about how I'm a descendant of Nagi. I wanted to prove it was all a lie by removing a sword Tsukuyomi. But the legend was true, and I've unleashed an unspeakable evil. The curse consumed all of Nippon. This is madness! You removed the sacred sword that imprisoned the dreaded Orochi? I fled to the village out of fear. Ugh. Then I blocked its entrance with a boulder and hid underground. After that, I tried fleeing here and there. But the gods would not leave me be. Ever they stared down at me. And let it be known that I'd never be forgiven. At least not until I slew the dread Orochi. <laughs> know that Tsukiyomi was removed and the moon cave vanished. But if what Susanna said is true, that would mean Orochi's right of sacrifice.
On the eve of the full moon, the eight-headed serpent shall appear, and the accursed arrow shall mark the home of the chosen maiden. It is exactly as the legend tells. If you don't offer the chosen maiden as a sacrifice, the entire village will be wiped off the face of the earth. Susano, you're no coward. The gods tell you to fight. You're the only one who can. You can do it. After all, you saved me, didn't you? I know you can do it. I know you'll come. Wait, Kushi. You're not going to... Behold, my thunder brew. Great Nagi intoxicated Orochi and defeated him. My sake is my life. Surely can intoxicate even Orochi. Hey, Kushi, wait! She's not going to take on Orochi herself, is she? No, Kushi, wait! Well, shit. Come out, Susano. This is the sacrificial arrow, the work of that legendary monster. Are we doomed to be devoured by that horrible thing? I'm begging you, come out and deliver us from this evil. On the eve of the full moon, the eight-headed serpent shall appear, and the cursed arrow shall mark the home of the chosen maiden. Naki and Shiranui have put an end to that abominable tradition, but alas, it has come back to haunt us. Oh dear Kushi, forgive us. There's nothing we can do. So... <clears throat> One thing that always kind of bothered me about this game, even... The first time I played it, and I'm sure this is mostly due to develop uh, developmental restrictions and uh, limited the time and budget and resources. But the places that are populated in this game, like. Um, Kusa village and uh, this village and and the city and stuff, Kayon City or Seon, I don't remember. It always felt too much like a video game place because it never had enough people or houses in it. Like they say this is a village, but there is like uh one, two, three, four, five, six people in it, in the game. And like, Kushi is the only maiden in the village. And so like, when this happened, it was like, well, of course it's gonna be her that's chosen to be sacrificed because there's nobody else. Um, so it kinda, this isn't just an, an instance of um, it being detrimental to the world, but in this instance it's also detrimental to the plot because something that was sort of staged as if it were a surprise was, ex well, it was inevitable because of the restrictions of the game itself, you know. Anyway. You okay, sweetie? Don't try to stop me soon. 
Oh, you, Snowy. If Orochi's chosen victim runs away, disaster will befall Kamiki. But it's not why I'm doing this. What? There's too much suffering in the world. I'm going to use my sake to rid us of this evil menace. Are you crazy? We're talking about the threat of Orochi here. That attitude's gonna get you killed. You really think you'd win with a little jug of sake? Yes, as soon. I guess I am crazy. But it's the only way. My sake is the only answer. I'm going, and I'll defeat that monster with my sake. Not you too, Lammy. Damn it. Why are you getting all worked up? There's no hope of winning. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. Time for some amazing music. Amaterasu. I take it you enjoyed your rendezvous with the sacrificial girl, eh? None of your business, you half-baked prophet. I never noticed this in previous versions of this game, but why are Kushi's, like, clothes see-through? That's weird. Hey, that's the serpent crystal he stole from us. Well, the moon cave is open. You've played your part. I'll leave the rest of me, Amaterasu. Why you? What's the meaning of this? Meaning? Hmm... Just saying, like a moth to a flame, ring any bells? I mean, you went in on your own accord, no? Of course, only one other besides the victim is supposed to get in. Yes, you really don't count, my little bouncing friend. Damn it, looks like we've been set up again. Were you not planning to enter the cave anyway, ma chérie? It is time for you to shine, Amaterasu. Now, let me leave you with this little prophecy. Look, the moon! The moon! The moon came out! Ah, uh, pardon, ma chérie. 
That wasn't a very good one. Au revoir! Okay, bye, asshole. Ugh, I guess we're stuck here. Well, we were planning on taking care of that Orochi anyway. Cut it out, Ami. It's no use. Let's go check the place out. Stairway has crumbled away. God or not, this is just too big a leap for you. We either, we either have to find a way around, or we can go our way. You know, our way. It's so obvious. It's not saying I mind. Leap before you think. I know it'll take a lot of guts to do that now. We'll restore this one. Ugh. That was quite a fall. What have we gotten our ourselves into this time? Well, now that we're down here, I hope you can sniff out Kushi's whereabouts, Furball. Hold it right there, Fluffy! What do you think you're doing? What business do you have at the Moon Cave? Stronghold of our master, the Great Orochi. Over there. Ugh. Oh, you? Never thought I would see your face here. But you're a mile away. Fixing for a fight, you chumps. I don't have time to mess around with the bit players like you. If you insist, then hurry up so I can cut you to threats. Or you're just a dumb old wolf. Huh? Yeah, look at that foolish mug. That smug, you've got to be the dumbest looking wolf I've ever seen. Not to stray so far into a place like this. You're not too bright, are you, champ? I don't think Fluffy here is much of a threat. Let's not waste any more time here. Yeah, I wonder if Fluffy's just hungry. What do you want, Fluffy? You're not thinking about doing, uh, going through this gate, are you? Well, think again. You're, the area beyond this gate is no place for a mutt like you. I'll run off and play somewhere else. I wonder if Fluffy's just hungry. Fluffy was hungry. Anyway, so seminar. Um, the topics of the papers was um, unfortunately very limited. Basically, there were three categories, pretty much. Security, machine learning, and privacy. And I don't care about any three of them. Any of the three. That Nakushi socket, there's still some left, but I'm not sure it'll be enough to take care of Orochi. Um, so, yeah, anyway. I picked one that is basically about, mostly not really about security, and more about static analysis. It's basically a paper describing a technique to analyze source code detect to detect uh, changes in how APIs are used and then using that information to derive rules to analyze improvements in software security and it was kind of okay I read the paper today and I'll probably do the slides and all of that stuff over the weekend um, but yeah, I'll be glad to have that out of the way. So I'm happy to have gotten, like, the first slot. Anyway, I just hope I don't suck at doing the presentation. Probably won't, but, you know, you never know.
Excuse me, eyes are easy money. Yeah, I know, all three are topics that'll get you a job. It's just what's popular in, in computer science right now, and especially software engineering, which is what the overarching topic is. I'm just continuously sad that compiler design and software architecture aren't really things that are anything at all at the moment. Because that's what I actually care about. Of course, any respectable artist can't resist a blank canvas. I mean, you just want to paint something on it, you know? Hold on a sec, Furball. I'm gonna spiff it up a bit. Okay. Um, what sort- what manner of memory are we gonna do this time? Um... Hmm. Let's see... Totally, nobody will be able to tell that we're a wolf now. Doesn't look half bad on you. In fact, you look better than your run of the mill imp. Fuck. It's a bit small, but whatever. The girl that I drew in Hotel Dusk? I don't even remember that. Can somebody send me a clip on live chat? Or even better, a screenshot, because I don't fucking remember at all. Only an imp would get a kick out of wearing a mask like this. And we're screwing around here, then Orochi's gonna take poor old little Kushi and... I can't even bear to think about it. Anyway, there's lots of little secrets and stuff. That you can, um... Explore around here. And my nose is getting clogged for no fucking reason, and it pisses me off a lot. <clears throat> Actually, excuse me for a second, I'm gonna blow my nose. Blow it out of the water! Okay. The worst thing is, like, um, it feels clock not at the front, but rather at the back. Like, it's it's sort of clogging me up in the back of my throat or something. Anyway. Huh? What are you doing here? Looking for intruders? Who was that silly looking wolf a while back? And nothing else out of the ordinary. You got this place covered. Get back to your post now. Post? What post? A sacrificial ceremony for the great Orochi is to be held today. Everyone's busy getting ready. There's no time to play around. What are you waiting for? Get in there and help. Oh, uh, okay. I'm in on it. Still loitering around here. 
Great Orochi doesn't put up with slackers. Oh, now I remember what you meant, Gingy. Now I remember, you have to uh, make a drawing of her. Of, of, of the uh, the lady that I forgot the name of. I thought you meant like a section where you can draw whatever you want. Well, I mean, I'm sure you can draw whatever you want in that instance, but you... You get what I mean. Like, if the, the main girl that you, like, leave Hotel Dusk with, at some point you, you draw a... Make a drawing of her and give it to her, I believe? Or was it... I think you also... Or maybe you may also make a drawing of the, um... Of the... The little... The little brat girl that blocks the stairs at the beginning? I think... I don't... I don't fucking know. And yes, I'm sure I have video game allergies. Huh. That was a close one. I'm the fabulous head chef of this kitchen, by the way. No need for formalities, you can just call me a Jimmy. I was cooking with such tender, loving care that I totally spaced out and almost cooked my own goose. Tender, loving care. An absolutely fabulous musky mask you have there, sweetheart. Say, how would you like to be my assistant? Assistant? Oh, no, I... I have to whip up his lips smacking appetizers to wet Lord of Rachi's appetite before the time comes for the human sacrifice course. Please, I'll make it worth your while. Wait, wait, we, uh, didn't come here to help, you see. Well, I should have put it. <laughs> Never mind that. It's just that I've run into a wee bit of a problem. I'm almost done, but loss. I've run out of my secret ingredients. I could finish up without them, but... And I wouldn't be putting my heart into my beloved's meal. Beloved? Well, I can relate to your obsession with detail. I mean, quality does suffer when you cut corners. All artists know that. Anyway, I'm in, fruitcake. That's fabulous news, sweetheart. There are four secret ingredients I'll need you to find. Pay attention. All of them can be found somewhere in the moon cave. Hey, here it goes. Ogre liver. Lips of ice. Eyeball of fire. Black demon horn. Got that? Okay then. Counting on you. Oh, silly me. I almost forgot. Here, take this key with you. Rest is up to you, darling. Okay, thanks, bro. Bruh. Damn it.
Yay! Blamo. Um, otherwise, in terms of studies, um, the object-oriented programming uh, lecture that I'm taking is pretty boring so far. Um, but that's pretty much what I expected, so nothing new there. And the final lecture that I have, I haven't actually had yet, because it hasn't started. So, it's gonna be coming up. Uh, next week. But the good news is that all of the lectures that I do have um, have their exams in um, during the semester. So there is midterms and end terms, but no exams in the exam session at the end of the year, or rather in, in January. Which means that for the first time in about six years, I will have proper holidays starting December 24th until like February 18th, which is nice. And I'm probably gonna go to the mountains and enjoy the mountainside a bit again in forever. Most, most probably I'm gonna go to the um, to the area called the um, Ingadin. More specifically, Samadan or Samidan, which is uh, kind of near St. Moritz. Which is really nice. Anyway, I'm getting to be really tired for some reason. I don't exactly know why, but I think I'm going to call the stream here and we're going to continue this maybe tomorrow. Um, depends on how things turn out regarding um, work and stuff. All right. Thanks for sticking around, and see you again whenever I can... Why isn't it... Open the fucking game menu. Oh my god. There we go. Alright, thanks for sticking around, and see you again another day. My good boys.